try. So Stephen, just talk us through how you came to the decision to retire from Test Footy this year. Yeah, I think I've probably been thinking about it for a, for a few months, and and just felt like um, felt like the time was right. You know, I think anyone that's done it will tell you that you know when the time's right. And I, I was probably for that for a little bit, and, and then I came to the decision that you know, this will be the last year, and and I felt like that was the best outcome for myself, for uh, my family, and and the team. Most importantly, if you look towards uh, the 2019 World Cup, it's still sort of two and a half years away, a lot of footy to be played, and I just didn't feel like I. I'll be able to make it physically and mentally, so I think it's a, it's the right time to, to call time. Was there a particular moment that kind of crystallised that for you? Not really, actually. I, I think I came to the decision over a, over a couple of weeks. I spoke to a, a lot of people and, and my family and friends, and and uh, you know everyone was really supportive, and and um, you know came to the decision. I think, as I said, you just feel it in your in yourself that it's the right time. And I've had an amazing journey and, and so many opportunities to to uh, to play in the Wallaby jersey. It's meant the world to me, and, and I think uh, I want to finish the last four months as well as I can. How did you break it to the guys and check this week? Yeah, I spoke to Check on Sunday night as soon as we came in and, and had a had a pretty long chat to him about it and he was he was really really good very supportive of everything and and uh, I think he knew that I'd thought it through um, long and hard and, and it meant a lot to me and then I told the boys yesterday uh, just after training just just at the beach actually we're here in Newcastle and and uh, just wanted to really make sure I told them face to face that that was really important to me and that's why I wanted to get it done this week um, while we're here together in camp. And you mentioned obviously a few highlights and that during your career is anything that sticks out for you? Yeah, I think when I was really young, I met Nelson Mandela. I think it was my second test. I was at Ellis Park in Johannesburg. Um, obviously, amazing experience just to be there, let alone play, and to meet to meet someone like that, and just to see the impact he had on the crowd. And I think we lost the game maybe by two points or something. And uh, I remember going up the tunnel after after our warm up, and he was um, in a golf cart, and the whole team was around him. I think a lot of them were very emotional, and just to see that, and in only a second test, I think it was, um, yeah, pretty mind blowing at the time. And I think, uh, you know, the World Cup's obviously a great experience, the pinnacle of our game, and, and to to be part of the team in 2015, that that went to the final. I think that was a great experience, even though you know, ultimately we failed in that bid to to win the the competition. Um, it was a great, great team to be part of and, and we have some great memories from our time together. And what do you feel like you can give to the Wallabies in this final four months of Test Footy? Well, I, I think now that I know there's some certainty around it and there's a, there's a four month block and a, and a period, I, I feel really clear in, in my role and how I can contribute and I uh, just want to give it everything now for this last four months. It's a really important time for the team. There's a lot of new players in the squad. You know, I look around the team and I think they're Chris Ford was telling me that some of them were only eight when I made my debut, which makes me feel pretty old. But, uh, you know, I think even beyond my time here, Adam Fry is still playing for Randwick, so he's always a chance to, to play another test.